guys and welcome back to another technology guru video. So in today's video, we're in Adobe Audition and I'm going to be showing you how to work with fades and crossfades. So how to simply and seamlessly fade in and fade out with your different audio files, whether it be a singular wave file like what we're looking at here, or I'm even going to show you in the multi-track editor. So if we're in a single wave file like you see here, I have this sound effect imported into Audition. And as you can hear, it's coming in and coming out at a normal rate. If I select this gray square in the upper left-hand corner, it says fade in when I hover over it, and then go ahead and drag it to the right, you can see there it's beginning to fade in as much as I want to or as little as I want to the sound effect or the audio file. You can do a real hard fade, or you can soften it up a little bit by going here and then kind of dragging it over kind of like in a curve like this to do a softer fade. So now when the audio file goes in, it's going to fade in slightly like this. You can do the same thing over on the right hand side of the audio file by clicking this gray square and then dragging it to the left. And you can do the same thing when you're fading out your audio. This works great when you are having maybe somebody talking behind with a VO or something like that, and you're needing to fade in and fade out on certain areas of the wave file. Now let's go ahead and jump on over to the multi-track editor and let me show you how to do that there. So as you can see, we're in the multi-track editor now within Adobe Audition. As you can see here, I have two different WAV files. I have a sound effect, and then I have some background music here on track one. We're going to talk about crossfading. So if I want to crossfade this audio file here on the top with this sound effect, all I will need to do is drag it over to the left until I start seeing these yellow lines that look like they're making an X. And then once I've drug it over to the desired amount of the crossfade, I can then go in here and actually edit these lines and I can edit how much or how little the crossfade is. So now when it fades into the sound effect, it'll crossfade it a little smoother than it would if it was just a hard cut just like that, as opposed to if I just put it right beside it, it would end this first clip and then go into the next clip. So if you're doing like promo tracks or radio drops or something like that, it's great to be able to go in and cut and edit those crossfades. And then as you saw in the singular wave file editor, you can select a specific wave track like I'm doing here, audio file, and then drag the squares as you saw there on the left hand side and then on the right hand side to fade out. So that's the basics as far as fading in and out, as far as doing crossfades within Adobe Audition. I hope this helped you out. If it did, go ahead and help me out by liking this video, share it with your friends and family. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos, and I will see you guys in the next one.